Hello my YouTube followers. How you going? Guess what guys? I think I found out why the hell I'm hungry all the time. I reckon I'm 100% right now. Tomorrow I'm going to see the doctor, but listen to this. I believe that I have fructose malabsorption or fructose intolerance. And that is related to lactose intolerance. Okay, I probably have that a little bit as well. Now, what happens is the weirdest counterintuitive thing happens. If you have a lot of fruit, which I was, especially watermelon, there's a whole list of them, but some of them are apples, watermelon, pawpaw, um, etc., etc., right? Look up this list. Uh, it's called FOD, FODMAPS. F-O-D-M-A-P-S. Anyway, listen to this. I was having a lovely healthy diet and eating watermelon and all other stuff. Now, this is what happens. Your body can't, if you have this problem like me, your body cannot assimilate the sugar that comes out of this fruit. And what that actually does is it actually lowers your blood sugar. Now, what is a symptom of lowered blood sugar. You ready for it? Intense hunger. You will look through some of my videos and you'll hear me say, I'm hungry all the time ever since I started this diet for the last 10 months, 11 months. I'm hungry all the time. Of course I'm hungry all the time because I've eaten fruit every single day and lots of it. This might be the issue for you. So let me just recommend that you test yourself, do some more research, find out whether you have fructose malabsorption or fructose intolerance. Um, uh, there's, uh, there's tests that can be done. You talk to a dietitian, talk to your doctor. Um, there was something else in there as well. Uh, it'll come to me another time. <sighs> Alright, well, that's what I've got to say. Let's see if now the weight will start coming off once I've changed my diet. Thanks, guys. See you later.